So last year we had a look at a couple entry level BenQ photography editing monitors. And today we have the complete opposite of the spectrum with this gigantic thing that is probably five times my face, the BenQ SW321C. And it's a professional photography and video editing monitor. And we're gonna break down what this monitor is all about and why it is super important for photographers and videographers out there. So now the top line specs of the BenQ SW321C. First of all, it's a 32 inch 4K monitor with a 10 bit gamut color space. Within this, you have ranges of 100% sRGB, 99% Adobe RGB, and 95% DCI P3 for video. And that is quite an impressive video range and it's the equivalent of the video version of sRGB. Secondly, for its industry recognition, it has certifications from Kalman as well as Pantone, giving you the proper industry standards for creative and professional use. As mentioned earlier, the SW321C is great for video editors as well. It supports a wide variety of formats as well as HDR, giving you the opportunity to view your videos in a vivid fashion. To support color accuracy as well, BenQ have loaded their proprietary technology, which is AQ Color, to give you the most color accurate representations, which is perfect for any photography or video editor, but also graphic designers as well. To keep this monitor at a professional standard, it is loaded with a 16-bit 3D LUT compatibility, as well as a Delta E rating of two. One of my favorite features of the SW321C is one for the printers. If you love printing your photos, it does have paper color sync inbuilt. And this is a technology that will allow you to easily format your photos in order to prepare them for printing. So using paper color sync, all you have to do is select the model of printer that you're going to be sending your photo to, as well as the photo paper. What this does is it will accurately display the colors and what it will look like when it's printed. And what you'll do is you'll load that into Photoshop or Lightroom on your preferred editing software. And you're gonna get the exact results that you want from the screen to paper. And it can't be any simpler than that. For those who color calibrate their monitors, you'll be happy to know that out of the box, the SW321C is already factory calibrated, which takes a lot of time off your hands. However, over time, as you're using the monitor due to wear and tear and different lighting conditions, eventually you will want to hardware calibrate it. Now, one of the best things about the 321C is that it does have the ability to work in hand in hand with a hardware calibrator, such as a Spider Pro or a Data Color. So putting one of these on, the monitor will work together to give you the optimal result for your location and give you the most color accurate results as possible. And just some extra nifty tools that come in the box as well. As you can see, we have a monitor hood mounted on the monitor. You can mount this in two ways with the parts that come included in the box, whether it be in the landscape orientation like we have right now, or there is a portrait orientation one as well. At the top, there is a door, if I can reach, because I'm tiny. And you'll be able to put your hardware calibration unit through there, so you can calibrate in a hooded environment. Secondly as well, one of the coolest thing is, it comes with this punny little piece of hardware called a hotkey puck. It's pretty funny. The hockey puck gives you access to a lot of macros. So for example, you've got three buttons here. If you like working with multiple color spaces, for example, Adobe RGB, sRGB, you can swap between the three. And then you have a little knob as well that you can use to adjust whatever you want. This is all fully programmable and you can basically choose what you want on it. And it just helps increase the speed of your workflow. Thirdly, it does come with a monitor cleaner as well, and it kind of looks like a lint roller. This isn't your typical monitor, so you can't clean it with some solution or with a microfiber cloth. It is highly recommended that you use the roller so you don't damage any of the coatings or the panel itself. As it is quite a pricey monitor, we do highly recommend using the roller, and it's also super fun to use. So now I'm just gonna throw over to John to share his impressions of the monitor as he has been using it for a couple of weeks. So I've been using this monitor for a couple of weeks now. And one of my favorite things about it is having such a massive screen real estate. Having documents open on one side and design work on the other, having that flexibility is fantastic. Now secondly, I love how color accurate this monitor is in terms of doing my design work on it. 
So creating content for Georges, I love how I can just look at my phone and see that it is exactly what I looked at when I was editing on the monitor. Now that actually translates to when I like to print, you know, some brochures or posters off as well. Don't have to do it multiple times as I already know and I can trust what it looks like on this monitor. Lastly, because I do edit on my MacBook Pro, I love how I can just use one USB-C cable to use it as, as an external monitor or an external display. And I don't have to worry about any of my battery life as it does charge my laptop at the same time. How good? Some additional physical features as well on the SW321C, which is super beneficial for professionals. It's got two HDMI ports, so you can plug in two computers or even if you want to plug in your phone or any other device into it, you have the ability to do that. In addition to that as well, if you are a DisplayPort user, for example, if you're using a computer with a high-end graphics card, you can output that straight in as well via the DisplayPort. For those photography and video professionals that still use SD cards, it does have an SD card port on the side with two USB ports as well, which you can utilize. So you don't have to go find your desktop computer and laptop to plug in your devices because you can do that straight into the monitor. As expected from BenQ monitors, the build quality is fantastic. It feels quite premium and even the swivel mount at the back sits flush on the inside and it's made pretty strong. So you're not gonna be too scared of snapping your screen off the stand. You get a few viewing angles as well. So as you can see in this demonstration, you can swap it into portrait mode, but also you have the ability to tilt it up and down and turn it left and right. So if you're gonna be displaying it to clients, it's a lot easier to just turn around your monitor. Or if you do wanna access the ports at the back without having to leap over your monitor to reach them, you can just easily turn the monitor around. Secondly as well, on top of that build quality, the monitor is quite large. It's already a wide 32 inch screen, but the bezels on it and the overall form factor of the monitor is quite big. So to mount this monitor in a really nice spot, you will need a lot of room for it, especially breathing room at the back as well, because the monitor is quite thick and it's not your typical thin LED as you would expect. Overall though, the quality of the monitor, the features that you get, the BenQ SW321C is great value for money and it is a great monitor for industry professionals out there. Whether you're editing photos, whether you're editing videos, or you're a graphic designer, or you just use your computer and like large real estate, the 32 inch SW321C monitor is a fantastic monitor to add to your professional arsenal. If you have any questions about the BenQ SW321C, pop them in the comments below or if you want to see it in person, we'll have it in demo in our Sydney store in George Street. Make sure to follow our Facebook, Instagram, and our blog, which links to those are in our description below to stay up to date with our latest competitions, events, and promotions that we have in store and online. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, hit the like button and the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos as we upload weekly.